Hi, I'm Benjamin, author of Master Math Models and Lead Tutor at Trinity Learning Centre. Today, we are going to do the PSLE Math 2024 question that is based on patterns. So let's begin. As you can see here, the question states that there is a sequence of numbers in this order, 20412041. Now, it says that the sum of the digits in the pattern above is... The sum of the digits in the pattern above is 230. And the question is, how many digits are there in this pattern? Okay, it's always a good idea to underline your keywords. All right, so let's get started. So what you want to do in pattern questions where there are repeated numbers is that you want to form a group. So this represents a group, okay? So this is one group. And the reason why this is one group is because the number starts to repeat over here. So every time it stops repeating, that's when you form a group. So 2041 forms a group, and then that's one group. And of course, the next group is also 2041. Now, the next thing you want to find then is if this represents one group, then what is the value of this group? So the value of this group, you put on here, one group. You write down 202 plus 0 plus 4 plus 1. Now, of course, there's no need to add a zero, but I want to use this as a generic way of teaching so that if you do other questions, you will add all the digits, okay? So if you add this together, you will get a total of seven. So one group has a value of seven. And it says that there are many, many such groups. So we don't know how many groups, but we know that the total is 230. So what do we do next? We need to know how many groups there are in 230. So the next thing to do is to take 230 and divide this by 7. Now, if you take 230 and you divide this by 7, you will get 32 with a remainder of 6. So what is this 32? This 32 on top represents the number of groups. And what is the 6? The 6 is the remaining value that is not in a group. Okay, It's not enough to complete a group because a group requires 7 and we only got 6. Okay, And this 6 that you're looking at actually belongs to a possible number 33 group, the 33rd group. Okay, So if there were to be 32 groups here, so if this is group 1, then in group 32, we will have 2, 0, 4, 1. And then in group 33, we will have 2, 0, 4. Okay, there's no 1 because 2, 0, 4, 2 and 4 adds up to already a 6. And the 6 that you're looking at here matches the 6 that's here. Okay, so to have a complete working, we are going to write 32. Now this number again comes from here, 32 groups, 32 groups. So that's 32 with a remainder of 6. This 32, as we know, is groups and the 6 is value. Right? So now let's answer the question. The question says, how many digits are there? Now, how many digits are there in one group? What is your answer? If your answer is 4, you're right, because there's 1, 2, 3, 4 digits. 0 counts as a digit. So if one group has 4 digits, and I have 32 complete groups, then I need to take 32 times 4 to get 128 digits. Okay? Remember that the 4 that we are talking about here is digits. So, of course, when you multiply, you get digits. Now, 128 digits would be all the digits that you see from here all the way to here. So, you got 128 digits. Okay? And you will still 
not be complete because you still need to count the digits that make the six. And there are three digits here. Okay? One, two, three. So you need to add all this together to get the answer to this question. So let's finish this up. We have 128 digits plus three more digits to give us a total of 131 digits. Okay, look in the description below, subscribe, and uh, you will be able to get the worksheet for yourself to try if you join my Telegram group. See you again.